next video, I want to show you guys what the performance is like for a lot of the recent weekly shows. What's doing well, what's doing bad, and kind of let you know like what show has been dropped and stuff like that. A little bit like an update or like a performance review. So look at this. And again, you have to keep in mind of the upload date. Of course, four hours ago is not matured enough compared to a video that's been posted like two days ago, right? So let's keep that in mind. And keeping that in mind, Roshitere is the most recent episode four hours ago it got uploaded four hours ago and this it's hitting over 3k views almost it hasn't updated yet it's more than 3k views right now it is mind-blowing how well roshidere is doing roshidere is genuinely number one number one in terms of performance and the animes that you guys decided that you want to watch for whatever reason rom-com but russian waifu just does amazing Sword Art Online, you know how it is, right? We came back from a long-ass hiatus. It's not one of the most exciting arcs ever. It makes sense why it's not doing as good as the other shows. Totally fine. I get that, right? We're watching Season 3 on Twitch and Patreon, by the way. Oshinoko? Straight up is Oshino mid. Mm-hmm. 1.7k views after 17 hours? It's pretty good. It, it's, it's decent. But it's just like a title as big as Oshinoko, you would think that it's going to pop off, right? But if you really think about it, what is happening with Oshinoko? It's like... What? A theater play? Understanding what's happening behind the scenes? Is that the most exciting shit? Would you go out of your way to watch a reaction for that content? Me personally? Probably not, right? Like everyone probably was wanting to watch Oshinoko in the beginning for the murder mystery and stuff, but... You know, the idol work, the theater play, the acting, all the stuff is critical to the plot and... I can understand why it's not doing as well as compared to, let's say, Roshidera, where the entire time Roshidera is just peak. It's just like, oh my god, let's just go, go, go. Oshinoko is like, okay, that's kind of interesting. That's like educational, but... And it's the second season, right? And it's the second season. As in, like, a lot of people get filtered out, right? Whenever you have a brand new season of anime, right? Season one, everybody can watch Roshidera, right? Everybody can watch Roshidera without having to see him pri prior. But Oshinoko, you gotta watch season one. And after a certain point, those all of those people are not gonna continue to season two. Combine that with a little bit of weak episodes in terms of what is interesting and fun to watch for reactions. It makes sense why it's down here. These are random ass videos that I am farming. I'm actually decently um, happy that you guys are watching these different videos. That's not specifically anime reactions, more about like anime industry news or, you know, reacting to other people's reviews. They're doing pretty decent, so I'm glad that's happening. Wise Man, holy shit, this shit's fell off. <laughs> Wise Man fell off so fucking hard by the end. What happened to Wise Man, bro? <laughs> like in the beginning, shit was like getting so many views. Like, like the first video got like 8K, and then it's just like, Wah. makes sense. Honestly, like the first allure was good, and then. The battle against the demonoids kind of mid, to be honest. To be honest. This Isekai Shikaku. Amazing. 3.3k one day ago. Usually first episode of a weekly seasonal always has to do really well, right? It just makes sense. It's a brand new season. Everyone can watch check out episode one, right? All the tourists are gonna be there, as well as the core members. So it did it did meet the standards. I'm glad that Isekai Shikaku did well, but can it follow through? What's most important after the first week of episodes is, and I'll show you with Suicide Squad later on. What happens beyond episode 1? Episode 4, 5, 6, and beyond, like, are people actually going to watch it? That is a number that you got to be wary of, right? Giguk, honestly, bro. Giguk is getting out of control with this. His opinions on anime is wrong. That's right, he has the wrong opinions. Can't believe this motherfucker put level 2 cheat down all the way- He watched only two episodes. But I can't believe he said Windbreaker is a shitty fighting anime only. I cannot accept that. Seventh Prince, I get it. You don't like BBL Shoda? Whatever. I thought it was fun. My monkey brain liked the cool animations. But like, Windbreaker, bro? Come on, man. This is your goat of anime? This is not my goat, man. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ta uh, lolly leveling. So, solo leveling, but with lollies. The Exploration Hero? Two days ago, 2.1k views? <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. Right now, the number that I'm trying to hit is like minimum 2k. I'd like to hit around like 1.5 to 2k as like the floor of viewership. Anything lower than that, we need to kind of figure out what's going on and try to go out of it, right? Of course, all these other videos, like these are random extracurriculars I'm doing, so I don't really care about the performance. But for anime reactions, like, you know, it's got to be at least like 1.5 or 2k. Did I not finish SAO Bridge? Motherfucker, go tell something witty gaming. Instead of taking a fucking year to make a joke, release those fucking episodes until they're done. Brother, bro, they are taking... Like, 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 we're getting off, we're getting off topic, but like, these motherfuckers 
Like, they got an entire team. They got an entire fucking studio. Like, what are they doing? SAO Bridge is still on fucking part two of season one. It takes that long to write a fucking joke? These, these dudes are a joke. I'm not finishing SAO Bridge until they finish SAO Bridge. Fucking bullshit, bro. I farmed all that content. They fucking just, just dropped out of the face. Because apparently at least one episode a year. What are they doing? This is honestly take that long to make all the jokes. I understand that like they got multiple different projects, but really one episode, one a bridge per year? Lazy motherfuckers, dude. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm ignorant, but like really, it takes that long? No, I'm not fucking continuing with those reactions until they're done. Uh, raising kids. Raising kids is, um, it's doing decent enough. I thought that like it might do bad. I thought that it might do really bad, but a soul healing slice of life anime is actually doing pretty decent but again it's the first couple episodes we'll have to really see if people care about it beyond episode two osan newbie adventure hanging in there i'm glad this one's hanging in there osan newbie adventure 2.3k two days ago it was fantastic uh first episode did not do as well as i anticipated but my core isekai community it's not isekai but like it's not native isekai field the power of fantasy right it's there so it's doing well enough Elusive Samurai, um, I'm late to this. The reason that I did this is because I was looking at Baldi's channel. Friend of the channel, Mr. Joe Freshest himself. My man popped the fuck off with Elusive Samurai. 32k views, bro. Holy shit. Bro is killing it. So I was like, I gotta get on that too. Um, but the reason why videos like this pop off is trends and a lot of tourists. And he was early to it. He captured the, the uh, tourist audience. And if you search Elusive Samurai, like most of the viewers should probably hear it from YouTube search engine. I was late to it, obviously. 2.7K views is pretty respectable, though. So even without tourists, right? Just through community effort alone, it did good enough. I'm happy. I'm happy we're keeping this. Um, What else is there? Nokutan, 8.5K two days ago. Nokutan is just a fucking meme anime. It is unfair to compare it to other animes, right? Like, of course, it's exceptional. In terms of viewership, Roshidere is actually still number one. Uh, even though you just saw episode two being posted four hours ago, if you look at episode one, Roshidere is still blew it out of the water. I'm glad that no Nokotan's doing well. I'm glad that Nokotan trailers and those opening reactions did fantastic. It's hard carrying my fucking viewership right now, but glad that Nokotan did well. Wistoria, amazing. I was so worried for Wistoria. I was so worried that Wistoria would do bad because like the trailer did bad. And I was like, ah, shit, maybe people don't care about this. And then we reacted and it did amazing. 5.7K blew out of the water. This is like two to three X my expected outcome, right? What are we expecting? We're expecting around 2000 views per average video for an anime reaction. This shit's hitting for almost 6K after three days. Fantastic. Uh, 3.1K for raising kids in the first episode. Makes sense, right? And completely new anime. People want to check it out. Yozakura dropped, honestly. Bro, look at the difference between an anime people care about and an anime people don't care about. Posted the same fucking day. Like, it is actually unfair to all the other animes that I'm keeping Yozakura. Listen, it doesn't matter how good the manga is. If you have a shitty fucking anime that doesn't know how to keep the audience engaged, they're gonna drop it. No matter how much you think, right? I see in the comment section all the time. Oh, these fucking impatient, you know, ADHD kids just can't watch an anime if there's no hype shit happening all the time. No, that's not the case. Even the yapping, the slice of life, if it's truly fun and engaging, people will watch it. No matter what you think of the series, nobody gives a fuck how good it is if people won't even watch the videos, okay? Like, there's no point glazing your show. The anime simply failed at ad adapting the material and trying to hook an audience and give them what they want. You fucking start giving us a crazy plot with the Tom Popo stuff, and then, but by then it's already too late. Everybody's already been filtered out. It is what it is. The numbers are absolute. I don't care about your opinion about Yozakura being peak. It probably is. But what's the fucking point of the manga being peak if the anime can't keep the fucking audience interested? Dropped. Tower of God. Fantastic. I was a bit worried about Tower of God. Because in the halfway point, in the beginning, of course, everyone's hyped about Tower of God. Oh my god, you know, he's finally watching Tower of God. And then the midpoint, everyone got bored. Everyone's just fucking waiting for episode 12 when Rachel pushes Bum off, right? <laughs> but then as we got to the end, we timed everything just in time for season two. It's popping off. I'm glad. I'm glad Tower of God's doing fantastic. 
Um, Last Crusade is a series that I am rushing because season two um, is airing right now. And I don't know if season two is going to be good, but it did, you know, get mentioned in the polls. And I know that Dangerous in My Heart won. We're going to watch Dangerous in My Heart for sure. But it's just that, you know, I, I, I just need to... um get this time sensitive one out of the way and then get caught again and then cover season two and then we can get dangerous in my heart last crusade's doing all right doing all right lolly leveling again fantastic first episode tower of god tower of god yo omniscient reader any any video i make on omniscient reader is like popping the fuck up i'm so happy <laughs> just trailers giga video it's just people love this shit bro and every time there's monkeys in the comments section arguing about how this is better than solo leveling it's like i don't care i'm just farming both ends i i genuinely don't give a fuck uh last crusade last crusade so tensura is doing all right but like, I think like I'm the last Tensor reactor there is on YouTube right now. I think a lot of people drop this shit, right? Neil decide drop this shit. Your boy Roshi dropped this shit. I'm not even sure if Freshest Anime is covering it. I think a lot of people dropped Tensor because of the meetings. Um, for whatever reason, we have a bunch of sweaty neckbeards in the Isekai audience that watches me. And, you know, they're always going to be watching the fucking meeting yapping episode. So it's just doing fine for me. Wise man, yeah, yeah. Giji Hotem. Giji Hotem is unprecedented. Five days ago, 4.5k views. This shit's doing better than Oshinoko. I didn't expect Giji Hotem to do this well. What? I, I I think the synopsis that I read on Annie Chart um, did not do it justice. I thought that it was incredibly boring based on what the synopsis said, but it's like I didn't it did it did a shitty job explaining what the show is. Once I understood the concept of, it's a pseudo harm. It's one girl, but she has multiple personas through her acting. It's like, ah, I see, I see. It was pretty fun. And goddamn, y'all enjoyed it. I'm glad Kiji Harden's popping off. So lovely, y'all know what it is. Adi Furata, it's a trailer reaction. It's a bit shaky. I hope Adi Furata in the summer does well. Later on, sorry, in, 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 in uh, fall, sorry, right? Days of my stepsister did really well. The fuck? And, and not only was it decent right it's meeting expectations and above the anime itself is good like genuinely good no meme it is an objectively well animated show with the story that's trying to be very mature and deep and i'm like this isn't supposed to be a cheap alabama show okay you have my interest let's see how long people will watch this because again episode one everyone's gonna check out episode one because it's like based on my stepsister well i gotta check that out and then they get filtered after those episodes. Who knows what the true viewership will be beyond. So, you know, Days of My Steps lives to see another week of shows. So, Senpai is an Otoko Noko, even though it did decent, I'm dropping. The reason is there's too many goddamn shows to watch on Thursdays, which is today. We got Perry, Otoko Noko, we got Stepsis. We got, you know, uh, what's it called? We got Giji Haram, and then, and then there's a bunch of other shit too. It's just too much. It's just too much. So, and there's supposed to be Isekai Suicide Squad, right? It's just too much. And I thought it might be like a fun show. It's not. It's a very sad show. And while I can respect how serious it's going to take, I just don't want to be there for the sob melodramatic story. I don't want to be sad. I am dropping it. Perry anime? Another show that I was very worried about, like Wistoria. Concept-wise, Perry anime was my favorite uh, anime before even seeing the anime, right? Without knowing anything, just like the concept of parrying sounds hilarious and he only parried and he did indeed only parry bro parried bro parried the girl like <laughs> the, the, the princess that he saved bro parried her at the end i love it i i'm glad that it did well episode one hopefully it continues to do well suicide squad this is episode four or five i think and unfortunately we are dropping it why in the beginning everyone was excited about suicide squad but after six days it can't even break 1k views it barely got 1k man very bad signs. You know why? Because this is what I'm talking about. This is the true viewership of what happens when you get filtered from the first episode, right? Everyone wants to check out episode one. What? Suicide Squad's having an anime? Amanda Waller ending, you know, dance? That's amazing. But then people actually watch it and they realize, oh, this is kind of mid. And then they drop it. And the true performance, the true floor, right? This number, the 1.5K to 2,000 ballpark number of what I deem to be the floor viewership, 
the minimum amount required to keep a show going. It's determined by shit like this, right? Once it falls off this much, I'm sorry. You guys have simply voted with your interest that you don't give a fuck about Suicide Squad. So we'll simply watch something else that you care about. Failure frame. My favorite isekai setup. Summoning with the class shitty goddess with like Skinny Shimu Fantasy did amazing. Six days ago, 4k views. Now, it hasn't, you know, matured yet. The next two to three weeks will really determine like whether or not these shows will be kept or not, right? So it's live. It's definitely going to live to see another week. We're watching Failure Frame tonight. Oh, uh, what else is there? And then we're finally back with Roshidere. So this is oh, uh, Roshidere, look at this. Fifth, seven days ago, 15k views fucking cracked. Roshidere is actually the best performing show. Uh, seven days ago, Shinoku episode one did only 3.3k. I'm kind of disappointed. But the opening and ending did really well. Now, this is the last anime that we're going to check out. It is... Strongest Mage. I just think it's too many fucking animes. And uh, it's just... Uh, it's a bit mid. It's it, it's barely meeting standards. And I'm like, you know what? I, I think there's a lot of different things that we can be watching instead. I want to focus more on the community series. Like, There's too many days where we're just only watching weekly shows. I want to focus on like the community series that people voted for. So this is dropped. So that's... The current performance review for the first week of summer 2024. I know that you guys are very interested in like what goes on behind the scenes of like why I decide to drop shows, right? It's simple as this. You guys watch videos that you're interested in. And if I keep making videos that get low views, it just seems that I'm making videos for an audience that doesn't give a fuck about that series. It's not in my best interest to continue series just for the sake of completionism. For that reason, Yozakura has dropped. Senpai's Otokonoko dropped. You know, Strongest Mages dropped, Isekai Suicide Squad, stuff like that. As soon as it falls below a certain level of expectations, I drop it. And then I focus more on the shows that y'all actually want to watch. That is, what, that is week one of Summer 2024.